Sal Khan and thank you for watching Ashana Style Cooking. Today I have my guest back with me, Rehana Vedia. Hi. This time I said the right name, Vedia. Yes. See, I can't make a mistake again. Oh, <laughs> I know. So Rehana, what are you cooking today? Today I'm doing another speedy Indian dish for you guys. Mm -hmm. For those second and third generation Indians that don't like to cook. Okay. I'm doing one of my favorite dishes, which is wang and bharta, which, wang is, and bharta. An, which is an eggplant dish. It's um, one of the easiest dishes to make. It's a vegetarian dish, mm -hmm. and you actually cook the eggplant in the microwave. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I go behind the camera. Okay. And let you go ahead with that. Huh? Okay. 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 So, for you next generation Indians out there that don't like to cook, this is a very quick and easy dish. You'll need one eggplant, one onion, half cup of green peas, and... Badsha Chat Masala. Walk into your favorite Indian grocery store and buy it off the shelf. Okay? And you'll need one piece of paper towel to wrap the eggplant in. Okay. So step one, you take your eggplant and you peel it. Cut off the top. And I'm sure some of you out there can peel a lot faster than I can. <music> Now, you take your paper towel, you put it down. You take your eggplant, you put it on top of it. You take just a little bit of oil in your hands, corn oil or vegetable oil, it doesn't matter which one. Just a little bit. And you rub it all over your eggplant. It makes your eggplant a little bit oily. The eggplant just kind of soaks up all the oil. You put it back on the paper towel and you wrap it. So now your eggplant has been wrapped inside of a paper towel. Everyone with me so far? Yeah. Now we're going to put this into the microwave, just like this, for 8 to 10 minutes. Sometimes it takes a little longer if you have a bigger eggplant. So while that is cooking for you in the microwave, the eggplant is in the microwave, you want to peel and chop one onion. So here we are, we're peeling the onion. It's peeled, and you just want to chop it up. Okay, one cut onion, ready for you. So now, you guys heard the beep of the microwave. Your eggplant is done. I'm going to bring it out in a bowl for you to see what it looks like. Okay. So, it's very, very, whoops, soft. It's still in the paper towel. Just want to take that paper towel right off, and there you have your eggplant. Very, very, very soft very mushy it's because it's cooked so now you just mash it mash it right up it's mashed looks goop it looks like green goop that's your eggplant okay so now everything is ready for you to go it only took you what eight minutes so now we get a, a cooking pot so, we put the fry pan on the stove, it's heating up. You take your vegetable oil or your corn oil. You need one fourth cup. You can use more if you like your food oily. This is for the health conscious people. One fourth cup of oil, you put it in there. The oil is sizzling away. You put in your one cut onion and you brown it. Okay, so your onion is browning. Couple of minutes. Sorry, my onion just flew out of the pan. <laughs> it happens. It happens, says Sal. Sal is a chef, he would know these things. And as you can see, I didn't cut my onions up perfectly. I just chopped them up really fast because it's speed Indian cooking for the next generation. Okay, so a couple more minutes. Onions will be brown. Um, you know, I have a cousin who's Punjabi. A cousin-in-law, actually, that's Punjabi. And she taught me this dish. So thank you very much, Muskan. <laughs> A 
couple of minutes. <laughs> Onions are brown. Here we have our badsha chat masala. Here it is. It's a powder. We put in two spoons of that. And I actually am going to buy this for myself now that I've... Okay. So there's one spoon. And here's two spoons. Okay. Mix all of your chat masala, again, which you bought from the store, in to the onions and add in your mashed up eggplant and then the peas. Okay, so you want to add all of this in. We brown the onions, then we added in your badsha chat masala from the store. And then we added in the mashed eggplant. And now we're adding in the peas. Okay. And now I'm just going to turn the stove down a little bit. The heat down just a little bit. So that it doesn't burn. Keep mixing, keep mixing. Until you get everything. Now, this is for you health conscious people. It doesn't look very oily. I like my foods very, very oily. So I'm going to add in some more oil. I'm going to add in another fourth cup of oil. I love oily foods. Absolutely love it. Eggplant is also like a sponge, like Sal says. It soaks up all the oil. So even if you add a lot of oil, sometimes it doesn't seem like it. See? Now how it looks nice and tasty and oily and buttery and all that goodness. Ha <laughs> ha. Lucky for us, I'm not health conscious. So in total, I added a half cup of oil. Vegetable oil or corn oil. Because I like my foods kind of oily. So again, what did we do? We added in oil. We browned the onions. We added in the badsha chat masala, which is store-bought. Add in the eggplant, add in the peas, and mix, mix, mix. See, everyone, it's taken on the color of the, of the chat masala that we added in there. Okay. We stirred this for what? Five minutes tops, five minutes of stirring, and you're good to go. Because basically, eggplant has already been cooked for you in the microwave, so it's just a matter of mixing it into the spice. So it doesn't take that long. So here it is. We're going to pour it into a bowl for you guys. finished product. I hope you make it at home and enjoy it. Again, you just have to buy the spice called Badsha Chat Masala from your Indian store. Okay? Everything else is pretty much easy. It's a very easy dish. <laughs> wow, that looks very, very good. Thank you. Let me see I try, I, I try, I try. I'm going to try it a little. Huh? Okay. You know, I never cooked the eggplant with uh, peas. Never? This was something new for me. Really? I normally use crushed tomatoes, onions, cilantro. Oh, wow. And I never use the peas. Good? Happy? It's very good. Happy? You, I you keep coming every day to cook this. <laughs> 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 but again, guys, you just have to go to your favorite onion store and just buy it. Hmm. Okay? It's a very easy dish for those of you that don't like to cook. Thank you very much, Rihanna. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having coming. me. Are you coming back to do another dish? I will be back. Dish? What's your next dish? My next dish, you know, what, what do you have for ideas? Do you think we should do dal next time? Show people how to make dal in a pressure cooker? Yeah, you can do dal. Yep, we can do dal. Right, yeah. Dal with rice, which is very, again, very simple. You make the dal in a pressure cooker, so that's for next time. Next time I'm going to do eggplant, like a aloo and bangan. Okay. It's not going to be What's aloo? Uh, aloo's aloo potato, potatoes, right? Oh, yeah. aloo potato. Potatoes and eggplant, like a ratatouille, you know. A lot of people like ca cauliflower with potato too. That's oh yeah, really I, like cauliflower, I like potatoes, cauliflower potato. Peas, potatoes, 
and mix it with the paneer potatoes, mm -hmm. paneer and peas. Paneer masala. Paneer masala. One day we will have to show you guys how to make paneer masala. It's not an easy dish, but it mm -hmm. tastes so good. Thank you, Rehana. You're welcome.